In an emergency room, you would hope that the doctors and nurses and paramedics who save lives for a living would be allowed to spend the vast majority of their time doing just that, tending to patients, performing procedures, running diagnostics, you know, medicine. But unfortunately, in many ERs, that's just not the case because these medical professionals are spending a big chunk of their time doing paperwork instead, filling out forms, documenting symptoms, and writing progress notes. That's bad for everyone, for us, for them, for the hospital. Nobody benefits from unnecessary administrative burden. And this is especially frustrating when you think about the fact that the vast majority of that paperwork can be automated. In this study, the authors are trying to do just that. They're proposing a system for emergency medicine documentation that blends synthetic data generation, dialogue simulation, and retrieval augmented extraction using local language models. They show how this pipeline can preserve privacy, handle multilingual contexts, and still achieve high accuracy on structured medical facts. On today's episode of Journal Club, we're going to walk through how all of this works and what the authors actually did, how they generated synthetic medical records, how they simulated real triage and ambulance conversations, how they built a retrieval augmented extraction system, and how they tested it under privacy and multilingual constraints to see if it could actually work in practice. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, then you'll be getting this full episode in text and audio form delivered to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English.